All right, let's get started. So everything you need to know about the MySQL connector in under nine minutes. First thing you're gonna to need to do if you haven't already done so is uh, install the MySQL connector. In this case, I'm using the pure Python version. Uh, you'll import your package with mysql.connector. Um, I called mine as MariaDB because I'm using a MariaDB database. Um, the first thing you'll need to do in order to start executing commands uh, is to create a connection with the uh, my MariaDB database. In this case, I have a root user called test. My password is password, and uh, I'm running this on my local machine, which is why it's called uh, localhost. And I didn't change any of the port configuration settings when I installed MariaDB. Uh, next, you'll need to make a database cursor, and you can execute that with MariaDB underscore uh, connection dot cursor. There is a kind of a cool feature that you can pass in um, dictionary equals true if you want to get the values returned from your database in your select statements in a dictionary format which is honestly pretty useful the next thing we're going to do is create a database and uh, a few tables inside of it so the first uh, i'll do is i'll uncomment out the the rows that we're going to need so first to uh, create our database so first i want to create a database called test database so i'll just pass it in with this execute command to the the cursor i created above uh, next to make sure that i actually created a database, I'll run this command called show databases, which just shows all of the databases um, that are in my uh, MariaDB database. Um, with this, I'll have to iterate over the cursor to uh, list all the individual databases uh, that are there. So after I run this, you can notice I have three databases, home network, information schema, and test database, which is the one we created earlier. Um, now, after I've created the database, I actually need to uh, add the database name to the parameters up here. So in this case, I'll say database equals and then test database. Um, so that way you're, uh, you're communicating directly with the, the database that you called rather than um, uh, just to the database as a whole. Uh, next, what we'll do is we'll create a couple tables or we'll create one table and it's uh, actually incredibly simple. So it's everything kind of from here on out, uh, varring a little bit of the, the insert commands are going to be your, your normal MySQL uh, statement. So in this case, it's going to be execute create table. I'm going to call my table uh, Python creation and it's just going to have two columns. One's of RChar with uh, two, um, two elements and one is a, uh, a column two, which is just an integer. And then after I commit, uh, I run that, I'll run the show tables command and iterate over the results to show all the tables that are in the database. So after I run that, you can see there's just one ta table, which is called the Python creation table, the one that I executed before. All right, let's start putting things into our tables. Let me count these out really quickly. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show you two variations to insert things into a, a um, a MySQL database using this connector. The first one is just a hard-coded prepared statement, or it's not really a prepared statement, but it's just a hard-coded um, string. So in this case, I want to insert two, two rows, high one and high, high one and high two into the table I created above. To do this, you pass the, the SQL statement into the execute command, and then you hit commit. Um, MySQL, the connector is not an auto commit, so if you don't hit, com uh, don't run the commit, command every time you're done with whatever you want to insert, they will actually won't be saved into your database, which is actually kind of... All right, let's go ahead and commit uh, these three lines. Okay, the, the next type of flavor, um, I guess you want to say you can have with inserts is when you already have the values from some other, um, like the front end of your application, or you generally... Uh, don't have like a hard-coded statement that you want to, to put in. Um, and so you can do that by uh, substituting the, the values commands for these uh, um, uh, percent sign s uh, placeholders. So if you had 10 values to insert in, you would need 10 of these uh, uh, percent sign s's. In this case, I just have two columns, column one and two. Uh, and also the next thing you would need is the, the values that you want to insert. Um, since uh, here I just have a tuple, since I know that my, um, the, the columns I want to insert into, the, or the rows that I want to insert in, uh, one was a varchar and one was an integer, so uh, that's why I have this tuple for high four. Um, to execute this command, it's the same general principle. It's the, the execute, the MySQL statement, uh, followed by the items that you want to insert. And again, you have to commit um, uh, run the commit command after executing. So if I run this, you'll notice that um, I didn't receive an error. The next thing you might want to do is double check that data is actually in your database. 
Um, so now that we've written a few lines in, let's see if we can pull something out. Um, so the select statement, again, very uh, similar to uh, normal, well, it is uh, just normal MySQL. So it's select star from uh, Python creation table, again, execute, and then um, the MySQL statement you want to execute. In this case, you also have two kind of variations. One is uh, fetch all. Uh, which gets all the data back, or you can do fetch one, uh, which, as you would imagine, fetches one. Um, you can also like append a limit here, so you can do like you know limit fifteen, and then fetch all, and it just returns the the top fifteen or whatever you have filtered on or selected on with the limit um, command. So in this case, if I execute it, you'll notice I get three items back: the two I uh, executed here, and then the one that I used uh, using the variable. Uh, and that's the fetch all. If I wanted to do uh, the fetch one, we can do that really quick as well. In this case, I only get the first one back. Um, so that's how you just do a, a basic select. Um, there's also kind of, uh, from here on out, everything is just normal SQL, I want to say, uh, or normal, uh, normal SQL syntax. So let's say I wanted to uh, return um, only uh, only items where column two has the, the value three in it, for example. So if you notice, that should be none because I've only inserted in values one, two, and four. Um, so I can do that with just depending a where clause onto a normal SQL statement. In this case, I'll fetch all to see if I can get any results back. So if you notice, I didn't get any results back, but if I change this to four, for example, then I'll just get that one value. Um, and the same kind of holds for the rest of uh, the select statements. You can get as complicated or as uh, strange as you want, as long as you kind of know what you're doing. Uh, in this case, I want to sum every value in column two, uh, where column two is less than three, and I want to group by column two and order by one. Like Normally, this is a horrible SQL statement, and the, the value is not here because you're grouping by the, <laughs> the same column that you're summing. So in this case, when I execute this command, I'll see two rows uh, for the only two uh, rows that have a value less than three, which is columns one and two. So in the end, this is kind of a dumb statement, but you can see you can get as complicated as you want. You can do joins. Uh, anything that you would normally be able to do from a console, you can just insert in here. Um, so it's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, last couple things you can do. Um, I normally hate running this from uh, uh, something like Spider, but uh, you can also like drop tables and uh, um, Drop databases, but it, from my experience, like the the connection to my MariaDB database, uh, like I usually get stuck here for a few minutes, so I hate running it. But in, you can actually run it. Um, the last kind of really important thing is that um, you should uh, always like let's say I, I unhighlighted this. Um, and I wanted to close the connection. So whenever you're done doing everything that you need to do, just close the connection. In this case, if I wanted to like, you know, insert something in, and then when I'm done, I would just close the connection. Like, All right, that's it. If anyone has any uh, uh, comments or questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.